Hello everyone and welcome to your character education video. My name is Corey and today we're gonna have some fun taking on this new big idea. And a big idea is simply this, it's something that grows inside of you to change the world around you. And this week we're gonna do a brand new one and I think we should just jump right in and reveal it. So on the count of three, I want everyone to say this word out loud as loud as you can. Ready, here we go, one, two, three, initiative. It's seeing what needs to be done and doing it. Good job, everyone. I am very impressed. You guys are, oh, uh, sorry, um, what was that? Oh, uh, I might need to go check on that. That's, that's crazy. It's, oh, it's Corey, I'm glad you're here. Tucker. Take this. This is, yeah, there we go. Take that. Okay, um, what's going on here? Um, not sure. Just got a bunch of furniture stuff. But I do know that I need four volunteers, and four volunteers who aren't afraid of physical labor. Whoa, 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 Tucker. Uh, we haven't talked about this. <laughs> What's going on? My dear friend, I'm helping put today's big idea into action. Okay, but, well, Corey, we haven't... please do not interrupt. Sorry. Okay, as I was saying, I need four volunteers who aren't afraid of physical labor. Um, let me see. I think we all need a healthy dose of today's big idea. I have one wheelbarrow filled with parts from several pieces of furniture my mom ordered from Ikea. Unfortunately, there are no, di no directions since she bought these furniture pieces on clearance. So I need some hardworking volunteers to put them together while I stand back and watch. Ready, set, go. No, no, um, uh, Tucker. No one will be able to do this without instructions and without tools. Oh, tools, right. Almost forgot. Tools, hand it out. Now go make sure my mom, a, make my mom a Swedish computer desk and entertainment unit. Tucker, I'm, I'm sorry, but what does all of this have to do with this month's big idea? Initiative. Look, on the count of three, repeat it after me. One, two, three. Initiative. Initiative. Seeing what needs to be done. Seeing what needs to be done. And making sure someone does it. And making... Tucker, no, that's, that's Seeing not... black and white, plain as day. And I'm helping these kids with um, initiative, or as the business world calls it, delegation. I'm in initiating their initiative. I'm an initiator. And there are the initiators. No, Tucker, you have this definition wrong. Hey, I just came up with the song. The Initiator's theme song. Sing it with me, kids. Ready? Three, two, one. I N I, IKEA is hard to build. T I A, a chance to help me out. And T E R S S S S S No, listen, listen, listen. Initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. You, as an individual, see what needs to be done and you do it. It's not about making other people do the things that you see need to be done. Okay, so I have to put all this IKEA furniture together by myself? But Corey, that's impossible. Well, I mean, uh, I'm sure you can get someone to help, but yeah, you should take the responsibility um, instead of throwing it on another person. All right, well, I guess I'll be needing these. Um, does anybody happen to have direction on them, how to build a Nord and Schwingle Hopper? Mm. No? Mm. Okay. Listen, Tucker, um, I'll help you out with this project. You will? Sure. Uh, I see that you need help, and I'm going to take the initiative to help you out with this. What about the kids? Oh, uh, I think that they can just continue learning about initiative, and you and I will go backstage and build this. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's me again, Sam. Let me ask you a question. What makes you move? Mm. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about dancing. Or even working out. No, I'm talking about taking action. Doing something that matters. Going for it. What you see triggers your brain to start thinking it over. And that can stir your heart to move. When you keep your eyes open, you find so many reasons to act. The kitchen sink overflowing with dishes that someone has got to wash. Mm. That kid sitting alone at the lunch table in serious need of a friend. All it takes is keeping your eyes open. Let what you see 
lead the way. Come on. Take that trash bag to the bin outside. Pick up your lunch tray and slide in next to the new kid. When you choose to make a move, you can show that you care for others. You can show people that they are not invisible, that you see them and you think they are important. That's why initiative is our big idea for this month. In fact, I can already see that you guys are all ready to say it with me. Come on, let's all do it together. Initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. Come on, all together, one more time. Initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. See you next month. Hey everyone, I saw something that needed to be done out here. And with this month's big idea, I figured I should do something about it. Repeat this after me. Initiative, seeing what needs to be done and doing it. That's awesome guys. I saw a need for an awesome game and I figured that I would do something about it. So who wants to play a game? All right, this is a very simple game called Now You See It. Here's how the game is played. It's very simple and it's actually for everyone in the room. As we just said, initiative is really just about seeing what needs to be done. So you have to have a good eyesight. You have to be actively looking around for what needs to be done around you. So this game will test your eyesight. We'll have a picture come up on the screen, but it's blurred out. If you think you know what it is, you'll just shout it out. And if you guys still can't tell, We'll make the picture clearer and clearer until you get it. Are you guys ready to play? Okay, here's our first picture. Have some good eyesight that'll help you see the things around you that need to be done but remember this the next step is to actually do it oh hey down here so there's been this crusty icky stuff on the floor for like ever and I kept wondering Who's gonna clean that up? And then today, I had this amazing idea. I could clean that up. Ah, got it, yes! Which got me thinking about this amazing story I heard from my friend Chase about his cousin Janae. 
See, Janae's been an only child for her whole life, but she is way excited that her mom is pregnant and she's going to have either a little baby brother or baby sister. Mom's not been feeling too great these past couple days and dad's been out of town on work all week, so things just haven't gotten done. Like the dishes. For three days in a row! And Janae is getting real tired of having plain old cereal every day for breakfast. And lunch. And dinner! But mom promises that Friday evening they can all go out to dinner. And Janae is like super excited for real food. That she does a happy dance. And then she sets off fireworks. Oh. No fireworks allowed on set? Okay, sorry. Um, and then she throws confetti. But that evening when mom gets back from work, she's like super exhausted. And so she tells Janae that she's going to lie down for a few minutes before they go out to eat. So Janae comes back and checks on her in 15 minutes. And then she comes back after 30 minutes and then she finally goes to check on her after a whole hour. And then Janae hears something else, but it's not her mom. It's her empty tummy. And right as she's about to wake up her mom, Janae realizes, hey, I can do this. And so she opens a can of chicken noodle soup and then she begins to grate some cheddar cheese well, a lot more than that because she and her mom really like cheese. Parmesan, and brie, and gouda, and pepper jack, and gonzogola, gonzgola, anyways. And then she makes the world's most amazing grilled cheese sandwich. And when her mom comes in and realizes that she doesn't have to cook and she doesn't have to drive anywhere, she begins to laugh. <laughs> and, then, and then she begins to cry. But she promises Janae that they're happy tears. And then they sit down and have a fantastic dinner together. Even the baby loves it. So kids, remember, cheese is the most important food group of all. And also, initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. Hmm, you know what I could really use right now? A grilled cheese sandwich Ooh, with some cheese and some bread and some lettuce and tomato and bacon <gasps> and Cheerios. Ooh, someone needs to invent that. I'm gonna go have one. See you guys next time. A couple days ago, I was out shooting some hoops in the driveway. Like clockwork, I shot an air ball. Hey, just because I like playing basketball doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Anyway, when I went to go get the ball, I looked down the street and saw that the house that had been for sale had people moving into it. It looked like they had a guy my age moving in. Now, I'm not a shy guy normally, but it's always kind of weird to walk up to somebody you don't know and introduce yourself. So I really didn't take the initiative to get to know the new guy. Hope he didn't see me. I kind of felt bad about it. I mean, I'm sure it's hard being the new kid in the neighborhood, but I figured I'd probably see him around some other time. Well, today, Monday rolled around, and as usual, we all gathered at the end of my driveway for the bus to come get us. I looked up the road and saw that the new guy was sitting on his front steps next to his door. I guess he felt weird about hanging out with new people. After all, he is the new kid. Everyone said they should tell him where the bus stop is, but nobody really did anything about it. He looked really lonely. I decided I would go help him out, so I went over to him and said hello. At first, he was a little nervous. Honestly, so was I, but then I think he knew I was trying to help him out. So, he followed me back down to the other stop. He seemed pretty relieved to finally meet some new people. He was a pretty cool guy. Oh, and by the way, his name was Austin. I ended up riding to school with him and showing around the school as well. I think he appreciated it. He's actually coming over to shoot some basketball in just a minute. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that. It felt good to see somebody who needed some help in taking the initiative to do it. I think that's him. Gotta go. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, 
We're all about putting the big idea to work inside of you to change the world around you. There are three big things that we want to talk about, though, that, that help us to put these big ideas to work inside of us. Those big three are, number one, making the right choice, maximizing our potential, and treating others right. So now, now all of us would agree that we would love to go to a school where everyone treats others right. But did you know that there are 160,000 kids that stay home every day from school because they're afraid of being bullied? So how does initiative help us to change that? Well, this beaker here, it represents our school and the writing on it is, represents the goal of treating others right. The iodine that I have here is gonna represent some of the things that, that keep our goal of treating others right from being realized. Like for instance, maybe you see somebody being made fun of but you don't say anything about it because you're worried that they'll say something about you. Or, Maybe you, you see somebody sitting all by themselves at lunch and you think about sitting by them, but you don't really want to miss out on sitting with your friends. Or, or maybe you're with your friends and they start talking bad about somebody behind their back. You could change the conversation or ask them to stop by instead of going along with it to fit in, but you don't. So these little things over time, they've made our goal here of remember treating others right impossible to see. See, the thing about every scenario that I talked about was that in each one, we were focused more on ourselves being selfish. We weren't really thinking about other people. People who practice initiative, they see the world differently. When they see a problem, they don't think, oh, somebody else will handle that or it's not my problem. They realize that when they see what needs to be done, they need to do something about it. So when we put the big idea of initiative right here to work inside of us, we realize that bullying is everyone's problem. And if we'll all work together, we can all help to get rid of it. Seeing what needs to be done means that when you see someone being made fun of, you tell a teacher, an adult you trust. It means that when somebody's sitting by themselves at lunch, you take the initiative to talk to them or, or not, sit, not allow them to sit by themselves. It means that when you're with a group of people and they start talking bad about someone, you ask them to stop or you, you change the topic. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? And when we do that, it clears everything up. It helps us get closer to zero kids staying home from school each day because of bullying. And when we see what needs to be done and we do something about it, it can change the world around us. Mr. Belden was a teacher who always put the reading buddy list up at the beginning of the school year. But now that he's school superintendent, there wasn't a place to sign up. I never really thought about it. After all we did last year, it just seemed like something that should be done. So I made a poster and put it where the old one used to be. People started signing up. When Miss Searles came to talk to me, I thought I might be in trouble. She asked if I got permission to do the Reading Buddy program with the kindergartners. I didn't know I was supposed to. She said, don't worry, that now I had permission. She thanked me for thinking about it without Mr. Belden there. I guess they just forgot. Anyway, I think that this year is gonna be even better than last year. Hey everyone, I've gotta tell you that I'm very excited about our teaching segment today. We have an amazing way to look at this big idea that I think will help us all understand a little bit better how to put it to work inside of us. Before we get to it though, I really think I should just mention the definition. Initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. For our teaching segment today on initiative, we're actually going to play a game. The great thing about the game is it's going to teach us a lesson. Oh, 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 I want to play a game. Can I play a game? Please, 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 please. I want to play. Oh, Cambrian, okay. I was actually planning on picking someone else. Yeah, well, I'm here and I really, 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 really love to play games. 
Okay. Well, first we need to pick another volunteer. Uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 about her. She looks perfect. She'll be great. She'll be great. She'll be great. She'll be great. She's here. She's great. Thanks for your initiative, Cambrian. Hey, no problem. Okay, I got a volunteer. Can we play a game now? Okay, this is a very simple game. We have an obstacle course set up here that our volunteer will have you go through. First, you need to zigzag through the cones. Yes, then you will step over the pool noodles. Then you need to duck under this chain. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I should tell you though, we have a timer. That's, we're hoping that's no to problem. beat that time of 30 seconds. This will be so easy. We're gonna do great. Actually, I need you to do something first. See, Cameron, you'll be helping our volunteer. They're going to try to navigate the obstacle course blindfolded. Blind, wait, what? Yes. With this thing? Yes. Me or her? Her. Oh, oh okay. Can you tie a knot? Okay, let's work it. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be great. I can. You can I, do this. We got this. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Cameron, I need you to just take a quick glance at the obstacle course. Wait, why? And then remember, you can't look at it, and then you're going to tell her what to do. One, what? two, three, four, five. I'm not, I'm not ready. Three, I'm not, what? I'm not four, ready. What? Five. All right, go. Um, uh, okay. Um, so there's some things in front of you. Don't, like, make, like, a Z and go like that, sort of. Like, um, and then, uh, but be careful, don't, don't like fall or anything, um, I don't know, uh, there's some stuff, um, I hear you stepping on things back there, is everything okay? Oh, oh, are you, where, what are you doing right now? What, oh, are you okay? I, uh, did you fall? Time I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, how much longer do we have? Time! I don't, this is impossible! How can we ever do this? So that was pretty hard, right? That is impossible. How am I supposed to help her if I can't see her and she can't see me and she doesn't know where she's going? You're absolutely right. This time, you can explain how to get through it, but you can't actually help her at all. Oh, you, you can watch her progress happen. through the obstacle course, but you can't physically touch her. Okay, okay. The one thing you're allowed to do is shout out directions to her. Okay. Are you ready? Oh wait, no, we're still we're still getting the obstacle okay. course okay. ready. Okay. 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 We're gonna we're gonna do it this time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready too. All right. Are you Remember, ready? you got thirty seconds. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. All right. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Are you ready? You okay. have to make it faster through this time. Okay. You think okay. You we can? gotta go faster. Okay. We gotta go faster. Okay. All right. Go. Okay. Okay. So step step in front of you. Step in front of you. Oh no, you kicked the cones. Um. Wait. I gotta read. Uh. Okay. 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 Take a step with your left foot. Take one step. Okay. Okay, good. Now take a step with your right foot. Okay. Okay, you're doing good. All right. Now another step with your left foot. No, okay, well, yeah, okay, you kind of skip that. That's okay. All right. You have some pool noodles in front of you. Oh, you just kicked one. That's okay. Then take a small step. Small step with your left foot. Okay. A smaller step with your right foot. Okay. Okay. Now just jump. Just jump. Just jump. All right, time. Oh. That was pretty good, Cambrian. I mean, that was better, but we still didn't make it. Well, it is pretty hard. When you can't help her, even though you can see what was going on, it seems like you would be able to get through faster if you could help her, really help her. So do we have one more chance? I, of course, if I helped her, we can, we, can, we can get through in 15 seconds. You can do whatever you need to do in order to help her finish what, whatever? on time. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're, we got this this time. We got it, we're gonna do great. Okay, you ready? Are we ready? Okay, okay, okay. okay. three, two, one, go, 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 go. Okay, okay, there's cones. Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, that's okay, wait, anything. Let's get out of here, come on, let's come this way. Come, come on. Okay, come this way, come on. Yes, 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 um, there's, okay, cool. Um, duck. Just, just duck, 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 duck. Okay, duck, you're not walking. I'm sorry, I hit you. Okay, we're good. We did it. We did it. We did it. We won a new car. We have to bring a new We're going to. Yeah, Actually, we did it. Actually, since you were able to get through the course, I'll give you the grand prize. The grand the prize. High five. That's even better. Let's give it up for our awesome volunteers. We did great. Thank you you thank did great. You. All right, now that was fun to watch, but honestly, Cameron, that's a picture of this month's big idea. A a what? A, like what? Like a, like a thing? 
Yeah, I mean, well, when you think about it, our obstacle course represents challenges and issues you might run into. It was really hard the first time to help the volunteer through when you couldn't see what was going on. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty difficult. Like, they couldn't see, and then, and then I couldn't see, and then I'm bad at talking, so it, was just, it just wasn't good. That's exactly right. See, that's the first part of initiative. If we want to help people around us, we need to pay attention to what's going on around us. This is why it's important to look around us and see what's going on. It means looking around at lunch to see if you've picked up all your trash. It means looking around at recess to make sure everyone's included. It also means checking underneath your desk in the classroom before you leave to see if you dropped any pencils or pens. Oh, okay, 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 I see what you're saying. You're saying if we want to maximize our potential then, then, and, and, treat, and treat other people's right, then, then we, we, gotta, we gotta look and we gotta see what's going on. That's right. But even though you could see, it was still pretty hard to help, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, we got pretty close the, the second time, but it, it was it was still hard because you know, like, I it was hard to tell her, and she was she was kind of confused, and of course she couldn't see, but you know. That's exactly right. That's the second part of initiative: seeing what needs to be done and doing it. When you got into the game and started helping remove obstacles, that's when you were able to make it. Yeah, well, when I actually helped and I actually went to her and I helped it, it worked great and we were able to complete it in super fast time. This is the same true for us. We need to get involved. Yeah, and, and really, if I want to make a smart decision, then, then, then I need to feel a need when I see a need. That's exactly right. Initiative is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. When we put it to work inside of us, we can change the world. Hey kids, I'm Zachary. Today we got an email from Jamal in Georgia, which, according to my expert research, is known for giant peaches. Jamal? And the giant peach? That sounds like a book. Is that a book? Close enough. Jamal may write a whole series one day, because he sure seems like a guy who gets things done. Here's what he has to say. Dear Zachary, Mom had to go out of town for work this week, and she wasn't going to be home until Friday. While Mom was gone, me and Dad played lots of fun games together. But we kind of let the house get a tiny bit messy. Or a lot bit messy. Dad said that we'd make sure to get it all cleaned up Thursday night so that the house would be perfect when Mom got home. But on Thursday, Dad got the flu. Along with the chicken pox. And the chicken dance disease! He asked if I could make myself a sandwich for dinner. But when I checked it on him later, I saw he was too sick to make himself any dinner. That's when I realized I had to do something. So I microwaved chicken noodle soup for him and opened up some saltines. Plus, an entire gallon of Jen and Berry's Rocky Road Peach Potato Chip Ice Cream. I was feeling pretty proud of myself for helping out. So I decided to reward myself with a game of Lego Mario Team. That's when I remembered. Mom is coming home tomorrow and the house wasn't exactly ready. I thought about just shutting the door and blaming it on Dad being sick, but, well, someone was gonna have to clean it up sometime. So I got down to business with all the necessary gear while working in hyperspeed. Let's just say that Dad was pretty happy when he saw a clean house the next morning. So happy, he did the chicken dance again, and so did I. Thank you, Jamal, for the chicken dance and for the big Rocky Road peach potato chip ice cream. Which is disgusting. But thank you most of all for taking initiative, which is seeing what needs to be done and doing it. I see this disgusting ice cream, and I'm going to throw it down the garbage disposal. We had a great time with you today, and here's the thing that we want you to remember. When you see something that needs to be done, do it. Take time to notice when people need things or when there's problems that need to be solved. Mm -hmm. There's an old saying my parents used to tell me, don't put off until tomorrow we can do today. Sometimes when we see a problem, we think that someone else will handle it. 
or that it isn't that big of a deal, or it will even resolve itself. Or maybe we just forget that there's more important things for us to do. But we need to show initiative. And initiative, let's repeat it one more time. Initiative. Initiative. Seeing what needs to be done. Seeing what needs to be done. And doing it. And doing it. We'll see you guys next month. See you guys.